All right, guys, back to 1908 we go. And uh, as you can see here from the standings, we have the Athletics at the Senators. Washington's at the bottom of the American League, clearly. Philadelphia Athletics are still holding on. They're a game and a half ahead of the Red Sox, and Cleveland is uh, coming up strong. And um, as has been the case all season long, uh, at least uh, to date, um, there are a lot of teams sort of bunched up uh, near the middle. Uh, Philadelphia um, early on has sort of taken a lead, but it's nothing like the National League where the Cubs um, look like they're going to win everything. Here's uh, Jimmy Collins starting for the Athletics, and he rolls an 11 for a 0, and the second roll is there. 51 for a 6, that'll be a double to right center field, and that'll bring up Danny Murphy. It's a good start for the Athletics off against uh, Charlie Smith. Murphy now uh, rolls a uh, 24 for a 13 and strikes out, one, uh, one away. Here's Topsy Hartzell, is hitting 225. 300 on base percentage. He rolls a 26 for a 27, um, and uh, it's going to be a ground ball over to third base. Um, and uh, it's uh, Shipka has it, throws over to first, two away. Here's uh, Harry Davis. Davis rolls a 26 for a 27, so that's going to be another ground ball to Shipka, who throws to first, and we go to the bottom of the first inning. Jack Coombs uh, gets the starting assignment for the Athletics. He um, is 4-1 and one with an 0.38 ERA. <laughs> Amazing. And he's listed as an outfielder in the game. Can you believe that? Climber, Otis Climber, rolls a 16 for a 26 as a ground ball to Collins. Eddie Collins at second, throws to first, one away. George McBride now rolls a 56 for a 34. And here is the little E roll. It's a 66 out of the range. It'll be a pop-up to short, and Nichols has that, two away. Jim Delahanty up now. Rolls a 23 for a 29. That's going to be a comebacker to Coombs, throws the first, and we go to the top of the second. It'll be uh, Rube Oldring here for the Athletics. Uh, Rube rolls a 46 for a 29. Comebacker to Charlie Smith, throws the first, one gone. Eddie Collins up there now, and he rolls a 33 for a zero. Second uh, column rolls a 42 for a six. So that'll be a double to right center field, and that'll bring up Mike Powers, the catcher. Powers, not a hit yet in this replay. See if he can do it here. Runner in scoring position, no need to bunt. He rolls a 25 for a 9. What did I tell you? Base hit, and that will score Collins. Powers winds up at first, and it's a 1-0 game in favor of the uh, Pale Elephants. And here comes uh, Simon Nichols. Nichols rolls a 13 for a 39. That's changed to 41. That will end up being a ground ball over to short. McBride flips that one over to Delahanty um, for the out, and Powers is going to be out with an injury. So uh, he gets the base hit and gets uh, to go out. Uh, one nothing, two away, runner on at first. Here's Jack Coombs. You look at that uh, batting card, and I mean, 18 games started, 26 games uh, pitched as a pitcher, and then he had a whole bunch of games played in the outfield as well. Interesting season. Coombs uh, rolls a 14 for a 43, and it's going to be a fly ball over to center field. It's going to be Milan who has that for the out, and we go to the uh, bottom of the second. But first of all, we have to change Mike Powers in the field, and we're going to put... Uh, uh, Sid Smith will come on. The reason why we don't do Shrek and Goss is we want to give him some chance to rest. So uh, Smith will come on as a new catcher. Here is Bill Shipka, and he rolls a 13 for a 14. He'll take his base, and that'll bring up John Warner. Runner on at first for the uh, Senators. Warner rolls a 43 for a 29. That go is hit back to Coombs, who turns around, goes to Nichols for the force out at second. One out. Here's Jerry Freeman. Freeman rolls a 42 for a 13. Strikes out. Two away. First strikeout for Coombs. There's Clyde Milan, and Milan rolls a 21 for a 30. It'll be a fly ball to center field. Oldring's got that for the out. We go to the top of the third. Still 1-0 Philadelphia. Jimmy Collins leads this off, rolls a 31 for a 39, changed to 41. That'll be a ground ball over to McBride that's short, throws to first, one gone. Danny Murphy now rolls a 16 for a 26. This is a ground ball this time to Delahanty at second, who throws to first, two away. It's Topsy Hartzell, and he rolls a 16 for a 26, another one to Delahanty at second, and uh, we go to the bottom of the third. Bob Gainley up there for the uh, Washington Senators, 179, not hitting much at all. Rolls a 61 for a 32, fly ball to Murphy in right field, and he pulls it down, one away. Charlie Smith now the pitcher for Washington, rolls a 45 for a 14, and he will walk. So Coombs, two walks issued today, including one to the pitcher. We'll bring up Otis Clymer, who rolls a 26 for a 27. Ground ball to the left side. Um, uh, Jimmy Collins has it and throws over to uh, second to Eddie um, for the force out. Clymer is safe at first. So there's two away now, and here comes George McBride, runner on at first. He rolls a 66 for a zero. Then a 62 for a 6, and that'll be a double that scores the runner. So McBride comes up big, turns this into a 1-1 ball game. Here's Jim Delahanty now, and Jim rolls a 42 for a 9. That's going to be a single that will score the runner and uh, makes this a 2-1 game. Delahanty is then caught trying to steal. We go to the top of the 4th. So I tell you, Coombs has pitched well, and he's down 2-1. <laughs> Harry Davis comes up here, top of the 4th with the Athletics. He rolls a 55 for an 8. That's going to be a single, and then he'll be caught trying to steal 2nd. One away, and here is uh, Rube Oldring. 
Oldering rolls a 65 for a 35. It's a pop-up foul over to the left side. Shipka for Washington has it. Two away. Here comes Eddie Collins, and Collins rolls a 31 for a 9. That's going to be a pop-up over to the third base side, and uh, Shipka has that. We go to the bottom of the fourth, and here comes Shipka after making those two plays in a row. Rolls a 21 for a 30. Fly ball left field. Hartzell's got it for the out. One away. John Warner now rolls a 66 for a 0, and then it'll be a 51 for a 2. as a triple to left center field for John. He ends up standing on a third base after getting that long hit, and that'll bring up Jerry Freeman. The infield comes in. Freeman probably going to swing away with Warner slow at third. Rolls a 32 for a 26, and that's going to be a single through second base. The drawn in infield, and uh, Freeman's on at first. That's what happens when you pull the runners in or the uh, infield in. Makes this a three to one game, and here comes Clyde Milan. So Coombs starting to struggle a little bit. Milan rolls a 44 for an eight, and that's a ground ball to the left side. It's Jimmy Collins who has it, goes on to first, and Freeman moves to second. Two away, and here's Bob Gainley again. He rolls a 14 for a 43. It'll be a fly ball once again to Oldering and center, and we go to the top of the fifth. So uh, here comes Sid Smith for the Athletics. The Athletics down 3-1 to one here. Sid Smith is 0-1 for 1 this season. <laughs> rolls a 51 for a 36. That's going to be a ball. Next rolls a 45 for a 14. That'll be a walk. So Smith able to work the walk, and that'll bring up uh, Simon Nichols. Nichols hitting 188. Now it's bunting time. And he rolls a 15 for a 10. So that's a bun over to the right side. It's Freeman who has that flips over to Delahanty. If he rolls, and this is an actual 10, this is a single sending Smith to third. Nichols ends up on second. So uh, now you know the dangers, the perils of bunting. One away, here is Jack Coombs. Jack rolls a 13 for a 40, and uh, that's going to be a uh, fly ball over to uh, right field. Right fielder Climber has that one, gets it for the catch, and then with the runner trying to advance to third, he throws over to Shipka, and they get the double play. So we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. It's going to be Charlie Smith, the pitcher here for the Senators, who are looking really good here so far. Smith rolls a 21 for a 13 and strikes out. It's one away, and here is Otis Climber. Climber rolls a 14 for a 43. Fly ball uh, left field, and uh, yep, it's a 62, the little E roll. So it is a fly ball to left field. Hartzell has that. Two gone. George McBride now rolls a 43 for a 29. Comebacker over to Coombs, who throws to first. And we go to the top of the six. So it's still a 3-1 game in favor of the Senators. Jimmy Collins will lead this off for the Athletics. He rolls a 46 for a 27. Ground ball over to Shipka at third. Throws to first. One away. Danny Murphy now rolls a 52 for a 27. Same roll, same result. Ground ball to Shipka. Throws to first. Two gone. Here's Topsy Hartzell. Rolls a 53 for a 17, changed to a 21. That'll be an error on the first baseman, Freeman. So Hartzell finally uh, gets on base, and uh, there's the first error of the ball game. Here's Harry Davis. He rolls a 62 for a 12. That's going to be a ground ball over to the second baseman. Uh, Delahanty flips over to McBride for the force at second. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. It's Jim Delahanty. Delahanty rolls a 61 for a 36. It's changed to a 38. That's going to be a walk by Coombs. And here comes Bill Shipka, walk number three given up by Jack. Shipka rolls an 11 for a 0, and the next roll is a 35 for a 2. That's a big triple down the right field foul line, and uh, that will score the run. Coombs uh, is going to be down to a C now. It's a 4-1 to one game in favor of the Senators. Coombs might not last too long. John Warner now, and he rolls a 45 for a 14, gets the walk, and then steals the base afterwards. So nobody out. Runners on his second and third, and here's Jerry Freeman. And, man, he rolls a 22 for a 7. It's going to be a single to left center field. Both runners score. Freeman makes it to second on the throw home. 6-1 to one is the score. Up comes Clyde Milan, and that's it for Coombs. That's going to be it from him. And uh, let's see who we can pull in there. Maybe Chief Bender, Nick Carter, Jack Flatter. Flatter's played a couple of games. Bender hasn't played that much. We're going to go with Bender. So it's going to be Chief Bender who comes in here for the Athletics. Um, we will have him hitting that number nine hole. It's just a little bit easier. Up against Clyde Milan, runner on at second base, and the roll is a 25 for an eight. That's a comebacker to Bender, throws to first, and Freeman moves to third, one away. Bob Gainley now rolls a 23 for a 32. Fly ball right field, and Murphy has it for the out, two away. Charlie Smith now rolls a 25 for a 36, and that's going to be a wild pitch by Bender that will score the run seven to one now. Smith's still up there. This time rolls a 15 for a 23, change to a 40. It's going to be a foul. And the next roll is a 62 for a 12. It's going to be a ground ball over to Davis, who goes to the first base back himself, and we go to the top of the seventh. Seven to one, and the Senators have really ripped this one open. Up is Rube Oldring. He rolls a 23 for a 30. Fly ball left side, left field. Gainley has it, one away. Eddie Collins now rolls a 13 for a 14, and he will walk, and that brings up Sid Smith. 
runner on a first base, and uh, we'll just have him swing away. Rolls a 56 for a 34. Here's a little E roll, and it's going to be a 25 just missing the range. It's a pop-up over to McBride, the shortstop, for the second out. Two away, Simon Nichols, and he rolls a 51 for a 9, and that's going to be a ground ball over to the left side. Shipka has it, throws to first. And we go to the bottom of the seventh. It is Otis Clymer now for the Senators. He rolls a 53 for a 17. Change to 15. It's a fly ball to left field. Hartzell has it. One away. George McBride now rolls a 33 for a 7. That's a single to right. And uh, this will uh, bring up Jim Delahanty. So uh, <clears throat> seven hits now for the seven Senators. Seven runs. They've only left two on base. Here comes Delahanty trying to keep that up. And he might. 66 is the roll for a zero. And his next roll is a uh, 21. That'll be a 6. And that's a double. That will send McBride to third. That'll bring up Bill Shipka now, heart of the uh, Washington order. Shipka is hitting 284, 11 RBIs, and he rolls a 53 for a 19, changed to 22, and that's going to be a uh, ground ball over to the left side. Collins has it, throws to first, and a run scores. It's 8-1 to one now, Senators. Two outs, bottom of the seventh, and uh, here's John Warner. He rolls a 53 for a 21, changed to 22, and that's a, uh, a ground ball back to Bender, who boots that one, and Warner gets to first, and he's safe, and it's a 9-1 to game. And uh, Bender, not going to last much longer, I'll tell you that. Here comes Jerry Freeman. Uh, that's the first error, by the way, in the athletics, and Freeman rolls a 45 for a 14. That's a ball. Next rolls a 21 for a 30. It's going to be a fly ball over to center field. Oldring has that for the out. We go to the top of the eighth. Chief Bender going to come out of there, and it's going to be, um, let's see, Shaughnessy. Shag Shaughnessy will come in as the pinch hitter. Down 9-1. to one. Let's try this rule again. His rule is an 11 for a 7, so it's a single to right field. Not much power in that kid. Here comes Jimmy Collins with the runner on at first, and uh, we're starting to bounce out of the box here. Roll from Collins is a 41 for a 28. It's a ground ball to McBride. The shortstop flips over to Delahanty for the force out. One away. Collins is safe at first. Here comes Danny Murphy. Murphy rolls a 45 for a 14. That'll be a walk off of Charlie Smith, number three, given up by him, and that brings up Topsy Hartzell. Runners on at first and second. Only one out, top of the eighth. Hartzell rolls a 45 for a 14, and that'll load the bases. Here's Harry Davis. Davis rolls a 21 for a 30, fly ball to left field, and uh, Gainley's there, has it, but it's deep enough to score the runner. Makes a 9-2, to two, and up is a rule old ring. He rolls a 44 for an A. That's a single over short, and that'll score one and send Hartzell to third. Now 9-3 to three is the score, and here comes Eddie Collins. Collins rolls a 16 for a 26. It's a ground ball to the second base. Collins, uh, I'm sorry, Delahanty has it, flips over to McBride for the force out at uh, the uh, second base bag, and we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Shaughnessy will, of course, not be the pitcher. Um, I think that, um, well, let's see what we can find here. We could do Biff Schlitzer. We could do um, Rube Vickers. I feel like I'm ordering at a, a restaurant. We could do Burton Maxwell. Has he pitched yet? He is not. So uh, we might as well, since it's a 9-3 to ball game, we put in Burt Maxwell to get um, him some innings so that uh, the replay looks um, respectable. Here's Clyde Milan. Some innings, he'll get one. Milan rolls a 31 for a 9 and uh, greets uh, Maxwell with a single. Here comes Bob Gainley. He rolls a 64 for a 30. Fly ball left field. Hartzell has that for the out. One away. Charlie Smith, the pitcher now, pitched quite well today. Rolls a 12 for a 24. Double play ball, ground ball over to uh, Nichols. Grabs that, flips to Eddie Collins for one, and on to first to Davis for the double play. And we go to the top of the ninth inning. So see, it wasn't so hard for Maxwell. Up comes Sid Smith, and uh, he rolls a 64 for a 27. Ground ball to Shipka third. Throws to first, one away. <clears throat> Up now, Simon Nichols. Rolls a uh, 23 for a 32. Fly ball right field, and uh, it's going to be Clymer who has that for the out. Two away. We're not going to let Maxwell hit for himself. Uh, Herbie Moran comes in. So uh, you think, what a moron. Well, we have a mor Moran here for you. Two outs, top of the ninth. And he rolls a 55 for a nine. That'll be a single. And then he is caught stealing second. And that does it. So the uh, Senators win this one 9-3. to three. I tell you, this 1908 American League uh, continues to be so tight. Charlie Smith gets his first victory of the season. He's 1-5. And... Five, and um, Yep, this is going to make it even closer there at the uh, top and in the middle of this American League, and it may be quite some time before we figure out which team is the favorite. Hope you enjoyed that game. I'll talk with you again tomorrow. Bye.